Mm -hmm. um, so first thing we talked about was having um, an, emphasis, an emphasis on like following through. Um, so then I said, hashtag we are not done. Um, just as like something. Not to be confused, but we're not done. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> um, just as something <laughs> to remind people that even after all the rallies and the everything that's happening right now, you still have to stay like politically activated and you s and a reminder that, hey, we're not finished. Mm -hmm. um, this uh, connecting vote voting to agency to agency. Mm -hmm. Yes. Agency. So like <laughs> making it something that like you have to take responsibility for and like um, yes, next point. There's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um next is um is a question posed by Denise. And she said, What can our youth do and how can we work together beyond protest and flash calls for actual partnerships? So we talked about like maybe doing like a um, student adult partnership for uh, like the town hall, like seeing like the people who go if they were open to um, collabing with young people on some new ideas and things mm -hmm. um, in an ongoing way beyond the night exactly, itself. Exactly beyond the night. Yeah. And this is like really important. I really want people to walk in, like Devon, and I really want people to walk in with this idea that. We're looking for partnership, not for just to be told. LTR, not just right. all night stand. Right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <Right. laughs> and we are not trying to Netflix and chill today. <laughs> okay. okay, so next is our invite list. Okay, so it says people from Civics and Plug, so organizations that we've worked with before, um, people who we've seen at the action parties, that was really um, great. Mm -hmm. Um, schools and community members um, collab with the LAMP once more, an uh, organization that we've seen again. Um, other supporters, other activists, um, so, um, oh, Shiana, oh, sorry. Uh, she was talking about how um, we could invite artists and um, artists who, artist activists, yeah. artist activists mm -hmm. who connect um, art and activism in their work and Artivism. Yeah, artivism. <laughs> um, next is like other youth organizations. And then um, Divine uh, said, not people who you're tired of hearing. <laughs> um, which it was again? We love him, but Brad Lander. He goes to all of our games. Mm -hmm. We love you, Brad Lander. Thank you for watching this video. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe some new voices. Yeah, so it does appear in new voices. Um, representatives, um, some DOE representatives. Uh, mm -hmm. So there's like there there are like various programs um, with it that uh, stem out of the DOE, like the Chancellor Student Advisory Council, um, mm -hmm. and those are people who have uh, access to people in the DOE mm -hmm. and inviting to people who actually work there as well. Uh, uh, oh, police community groups. Um, we thought it might be really powerful um, to have uh, people from the police force there in order to like send a message of- Just casually. Yes. Yeah, just casually, yeah, that, right? right. Um, <laughs> no uniforms, no uniforms. Send a message of like unity. Uh, and then uh, Divine brought up a commercial that she saw. Yeah, I think it's there. Called it's, Build the Block. Yeah, mm -hmm. but yeah, so not just any policemen, but people who are actually right. engaged in working and conversating with their community. Mm -hmm. Right, and then um, we have this line here. And it's like what like we like the actual goals of the town hall. So um, the first thing I thought about was like having an ultimate question that we work towards answering throughout the night, and like actually having the town hall have to have like a product, right? So um, I said, how can we build a bridge between the issues that we're seeing right now and voting? Like, how can we make that uh, segue? And what's the influence of civic engagement in building the bridge and voting? And how can we capitalize on everything that's been done and turn that into numbers at the polls? Because we reflected a little bit on the quotes and you know, one of the biggest takeaways, you want to talk about that different way? Or you had the same quote. Sorry. It was interesting how uh, only in Miami D was it um, like such a jump in voter registration, the numbers, um, 
It went from 3,100 in January to 6,700 in March. Um, and so it was kind of like, why, like, what did they do specifically that allowed for this number increase to go up by like a record amount? Um, and how could we apply that to us in order to get the same results? Maybe we should Skype with some folks in Miami-Dade to find out more. Mm.